Hey, what's up, geeks? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a reusable button component. Now, for whatever application you create, you're going to have some kind of button on your screen, whether that's the login screen or any other screen that has some kind of functionality or some kind of trigger. A button is always, in most cases, a button is associated within that action. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import touchable opacity from React Native. I'm going to add our touchable opacity component. I'm going to give it the width of 100% and the height of 50. background color and our background color is going to be red okay cool I'm going to go ahead and wrap our button in a view component so add view and I'm going to apply this style to our view cut out our button and paste it in between our view Okay, that's that's what I was expecting. Get this 70. See how that looks. Okay, 70 looks good. Border radius. This is gonna be 15. Align items. Center. Justify content. It's gonna be center as well. Now the text text is going to be subscribe. So for anybody who's actually watching this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Font size can be 20. Font weight will be bold all right so that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and add some margin to our button as well so margin bottom will be 10 all right cool so right now we have a button it doesn't do anything but we want this button to be reusable so in order for us to do that I'm gonna go ahead and cut out our touchable opacity I'm going to create a new file in the root of our project and this is going to be button.js it's going to be a functional component go ahead and paste that in there Now I'm going to go ahead and import a button component. Let's see if I can clean up my code. Okay. So import my button component. I'm going to add my style sheet to my button component. So I'm going to add some styles for our button text. Now 
Now I'm going to import my button component into my app.js file. Go ahead. Add my button component. There, we, there you have it. We have our button component. I think we really can't do anything with this button component. As you can see we have two buttons and they both have the same label. So let's go ahead and update that. We're going to add a label prop. We're going to substitute our subscribe for our label prop. Now we're going to reference our label. This is going to resubscribe. And our next button is going to read. Press the like button. Alright, so make sure you like this video. I'll be the like button. So our like button, I think it's blue on um, YouTube, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say we're gonna add some style. We can add dynamic styles to each button. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and apply that an array for so touchable opacity, pass in our style prop. Now style prop we're going to go ahead and give it a color of light blue uh, light blue showed up like it was a color Let's see if I put blue go to my colors style button Oh yeah, background color. Okay, we'll stick with blue. Getting a little too carried away with these colors. So now, as you can see, we can add different styles for each button using our button component. We can also do a lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a view. For those of you who are new to React Native, you can Google some of these uh, references that I'm applying to our uh, component. Flex Direction Row, this is going to allow us to align all of our components horizontally. Align Items, it's going to center all of those components. Justify Content, adding Space Between, is going to ensure that there's space between each component. Gonna be an equal amount of space between each component. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab our button and I'm going to pass it into our view. We're gonna add it three times. I'm actually gonna apply some width to our button. So before I do that, I'm gonna say width. This is gonna be 30%. Now I'm gonna grab our button. Paste it in there two more times. Alright. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'm going to give these buttons its own color, so I'll go ahead and I'll add the coral, the ugly coral, and then I'll add a uh, There's another thing I want to do. I want to, on these buttons, I'll make them gray. So this blue, I'll make it like a light, light coral. That'll work, that'll work for right now. So for our button, as you can see, our buttons don't really do anything. So I'm gonna add, apply the rest prop. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna allow us to reference every single prop that comes with, comes with touchable opacity. Now when we apply, let's say to our subscribe button, we apply the on press component function. And I'm going to alert. I'm going to say thank you for subscribing. 
subscribing. Subscribing. Yep. As you can see, we have that alert. We, there's a lot fancier alerts than that, but you guys get it. I didn't mean to say that. And there's a lot more that we can do with this button, but this is basically the gist of how you can use reusable buttons within your React Native application. Hope you guys learned something. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.